Hey everybody, I'm Chucky2009 here today with another tech tip from our friends at sawblade.com. And I've found that when you have a lot of angle iron to cut, even doing it by fairly efficient machines like this shear, it's not really the fastest, most efficient way to go about this. What's even faster and smoother is to stack cut this in a large bandsaw or even kind of small depending on how much of what size angle iron you have to cut. And I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to do that today. So you can see there's not really a whole heck of a lot to this. What I like to do is just stack these things up real nice, make sure everything fits in the vices it should. And then if all goes well, should just be able to hit the old green button there and this saw will start working its way through this. And this is going to be a fair amount of cutting, but the great thing is since the saw is basically self-sufficient, I can start this and step away. Not go too far though for safety reasons, of course. And it'll just sit here and work away going through all these. So as you can see, stacking material in here like this makes it so we can get extremely, extremely accurate cuts on a lot of pieces at once. So total elapsed cutting time for this uh, section here was about eight and a half minutes divided by these 14 pieces means that this saw uh, only spent about 36 seconds cutting one of these pieces. This is some fairly large angle iron. It's uh, fairly thick material and the best part is I didn't even have to be here as it's cutting. I could just let this thing cut under its own force. So um, yeah, really like how this turned out. Now the other thing, a couple other things to keep in mind. It looks like we could fit, this is 14 pieces. I bet we could get 20 pieces of this in here before we run out of room over here. And uh, the other reason why I like to cut stuff like this horizontally, so we're squeezing the pieces together in the vise instead of vertically where they'd be stacked like such, is that uh, it's just a lot less likely to move. And, and the main thing with that, comes with the fact that most band saws, this one included, this is an 8 by 12 saw, 12 inch capacity here, 8 inch capacity here, so we can get 50% more angle iron in if we lay it across like this. So this is just your little tech tip of the day, I hope you've enjoyed it, and as always, remember sawblade.com, no middleman, no markup, no problems, go direct.